welcome to all of you out there who might be joining us. Uh, I'm Lori Williamson, the uh, Collections Outreach Coordinator for the Minnesota Historical Society, and this is my colleague and awesome friend, Sandra. I'm Sandra Ryerson. I'm a 3D Objects Curator. Um, so we were asked, kind of as part of this, of this History at Home initiative that we're doing, to try to um, keep you find people uh, hopefully entertained, engaged, um, maybe even learn something occasionally, um, but also remind you of all the great historic resources we have available uh, digitally. So come, come look around and take more, uh, more, more stuff. But uh, I just want to share a couple of fun things with you. I really, really wanted this to be focused on home offices, um, but I didn't tell Sandra that before this. But um, but then I looked, and we only have one image of a home office in the collection, and it's not great. So mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, I know. So I thought that was not, I know, isn't that surprising? And it's also super fancy. It's very weird. Anyway. Um, we should talk to the James J. Hill House. I wonder if they they could hook us up. We, I think next time maybe we can do something on home offices if we try a little harder. Also, I'm sure you have some office supplies in the 3D collection. That would be fun. Well, to look. We definitely have toilet paper. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm super jealous. Anyway. Yes, yeah. stays in storage. So, so then I was thinking, okay, well, what's kind of, you know, appropriate for the time and motivational and kind of, you know, happy making ish. And then I thought of the Brown and Bigelow posters um, from World War II, because um, a lot of them were very much about encouragement and keep going, keeping up the fight and stuff like that. So I want yeah, to this is, Yeah, this is before uh, the scantily clad women of later decades. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This is still when it's um, tasteful. So oh, anyway. good. So um, yeah, so if we could look at the first poster um, from this grouping, that would be great. Yay! Ta-da! Ta-da! Hey, okay, so this is so this is the first one. So I thought let's just look up Brian and Bigelow stuff because you know they're they're always you know good for you know artistic, um, patriotic propaganda stuff. But um, I thought this one comes kind of appropriate for the time though. Let's fight together with faith in ourselves, hope in the future, and courage in our hearts. Um, and also I thought it was funny because the keep buying war bonds thing, you know, with the whole bond market issue right now, it's kind of timely. Yeah, absolutely. My my words of the last week and a half have been grace and gratitude. And I think that fits in pretty nicely with this idea of coming together and uh, finding some courage to face something communally. Yeah, yeah. No, I think look at us. We're not uh, we're not worried about social distancing. We're doing distance socializing. Yes, yes, physical distancing, but we're still hanging out. So yeah. Oh yeah, that's also we were supposed we we're supposed to mention where we are. We are both in our respective oh, cool. homes, and perhaps that's how you can tell our decor doesn't match. And uh, yes, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sitting in my living room in my armchair, it's pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, and I do like this one also in the battle, in battle or in business, we fight for freedom. You know, we have to still get that, we're Americans angle in there. So uh, can we go on to the next one, please? Um, I love okay. farmers. Yes, what do, you, do you have thoughts about this image, Sandra? Absolutely, I mean, we're already talking about food, right? Like when I go into my refrigerator these days, it's like, what's gonna go bad first? I know. Uh, rather than what do I wanna eat most? So and this is very pertinent. I live with two teens and I'm like, don't eat everything just because it's here doesn't mean you should eat it all right now. Like, right. I, I, see some, I see some produce on that poster that I would like to have in my kitchen right now. I know. I actually, I love this image so much of the guy over the rolling countryside with, you know, giant, you know, bushels of produce in his arms. Yeah. Stuff. But um, farmers are providing for us. They are. But I think this is really, really important now because we've been talking about you know, how it's the, not the big business capitalists who are gonna save us, it's the people who go to work and do the jobs every day that we are actually vital to how our lives work. I think it's it's just, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a deep topic kind of, but it's cool. So, and yeah, I love absolutely. And the text on the poster, it says, uh, producing food that is winning today's battles. So yeah, we all, like, we have some pretty basic needs that we need to meet and that's accurate today too. Yep, very much. All right, can we go to the next one, please? This one just, I don't know what to say about this, kind of. When I first saw this, I uh, the cynic Gen Xer in me just kind of laughed a little bit because it's like, there's a great day coming and like the rainbow and the happy couple waiting for the boys to come home. But- um, And the millennial in me is so thrilled with this. <laughs> I love this so much. I feel like the everything that we're doing now that's innovative and is going to have long-lasting effects when we come through this, it, like that's the end of the rainbow, right? 
Yeah, yeah. But do rainbows ever end? No, um, but I do, I like back the board by doing more. You know what I mean? It's like try harder. So um, Okay, Gen X. I know, <laughs> try harder, whatever. But, you know, but I, it's sweet, so. Uh, can we go to the last one, please? Thank you. Um, this is not a Brown and Bigelow, which you might notice by the completely different type of artwork. <laughs> this was actually published, uh, it was printed by another ad agency at the behest of Pillsbury uh, Flower Mill. Um, As you can see from the flower bag, which we have many of in the collection, I will say. Which you can all find when um, at your leisure when you go to uh, collections online and put in Pillsbury Flower. Um, exactly. It's amazing the amount we have. But what I love, loved about this one and why I included it, um, even though it's not from a Bigelow, um, is because your grocer carries on soldier to soldier with, um, soldier shoulder to shoulder with a man who carries the gun. And I thought this, I saw this on the day that Governor Walls said grocery workers are considered, you know, emer emergency personnel and they're on the front lines. And Absolutely. I thought that. And that we're now. We're activating the National Guard now too to yeah. uh, to de de deliver masks and things. So, yeah. you know, this this isn't a military conflict, but we're we're using some of the same resources. Yeah, yeah, and the same things are so important, like food, like we already talked about. Right, yeah. a massive response requires uh, the same level of deployment. Right, right, yeah. So anyway, some awesome. of the things this I've, I was you know kind of thinking about this week. So, uh, anything else you want to add, Sandra? No, I think that that was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, this working from home thing is uh, it's interesting and we're all figuring it out. Yep. Um, you know, it's I, I bought my lap desk, so I'm in, in a better situation today than I was yesterday. You look more stable. You know what I mean? Yeah. So very nice. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> OK, well, anyway, this was super fun. It's good to talk to you as always. Um, maybe yeah, you too. In a couple days. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. You can pick stuff next time. Oh, perfect. More distant socializing. Yay! About history. So remember to check the history at home page. It's on mnhs.org. Uh, and um, have some fun and see what you can find. And, you know, let us know if you like this or if you have topics you'd like us to cover. Yeah, that'd be great. Some requests would be fantastic. We we'll make requests if we can. So, we'll try. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.